as per my usual, I have stumbled through one side of the door doing the interior and it came out pretty nice. So I will now walk you guys through the other side and uh, show you what I did, how I did it. Uh, it actually involved a blowtorch. So anyway, onward. Step one, I laid out blue tape around the rim and I marked where all the little peg holes are going to go. That way I can find them when I'm putting the panel on and I'm wondering exactly where they are. I got the coordinates. Second thing, shugu. This is basically good rubber cement and I'm going to put it around the edge to help hold the plastic in place. Third thing, blow torch. I use that to heat this hook which I then use to melt a hole in the plastic after it's mounted. I don't want to cut the hole because I don't want to have a tear that might grow. If you melt it, it basically has no sharp edge where it can tear. That helps when you have to put in the little black booty things there, which also hold the plastic on, all that stuff. Notice I've also removed the uh, latch. I'll add that back in later. All right, let's get going. Remember, this is basically heavy-duty rubber cement. I imagine you could use that as well. Entirely up to you. A few bits of blue tape to hold the upper corners in place. Once you're done, trim off the excess and you're pretty much ready to go. Now I just gotta trim out that hole and uh, the hole for the latch. And then uh, put all the little metal tabs on, pop it in. Okay, I've got all of the little pins in place. And what I've uh, figured out, at least for my installation, is they go basically as close to the edge as possible. So in the hole, boom. Not angled this way, not angled that way. Just straight in, close to the edge as you can get. And for the most part, that got them to line up. Second thing, do not pound. You want to press, not pound. If you pound, there's a chance that you're going to blow this thing through this cheap particle board, and then it's basically a dead latch. You're going to have a lump. It's not going to work. This is again where it's nice to have the blue tape. I just know where I'm supposed to be. Like that.
There it is. <sighs> Onward. Let's see, over here. This is the back seat itself. I have the uh, new backing uh, in place, screwed in to the base. Overall, I'm pleased with how that came out. You can see a little bit from the underside, some of the plywood there. Uh, I'm okay with that. If it starts to bother me, I'll just pull the whole thing off and spray paint it black or something. But now I've just got to attach this piece and then uh, there's a metal rod that goes in there that has some holes in it, I think. And then it goes in that slot there between the lower uh, back area and the parcel shelf. So that's where I'm headed to next. Bring you back when I'm ready. So metal strip installed so that this folds over and that covers the gap when the uh, seat's down. Eight screws, they go into the steel bar at the bottom. Holes are already there. So once you get them lined up, just watch that edge there all along to make sure it's pretty even. You should be good to go. All right, I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod and then uh, install. Had to do some slight adjustment. Um, the seat belt issues are now resolved and I also got uh, that little bracket there in place so we are all good to go now I'm going to start working on getting the uh, seat itself in where it's a little tricky with the three-point seat belts. Well, I got it in. It was a pain in the butt, particularly getting around seat belts and uh, the lower hinge bolts for the seat back. I couldn't find a good angle to video for you guys. It was just going to show you my butt. And once I got in there and I was just in the mood to get it done, so I just powered through. So sorry about that, but I am ready to be done with this. The interior is taking too long. Overall though, I'm pretty happy with it. The seat's a little bit more faded on the upper back than I thought, but uh, that's all right. So, on to the front seat area.
that's going to make it a lot easier. Seems like it should go back a little farther. All done. Seats in, carpet, rubber floor mats, door cards, steering wheel button. Pretty much done. So now I've got a few uh, odds and ends on the exterior that I want to uh, take another swing at. Plus, uh, you know, just bits and pieces, wiper blades, antenna, that kind of stuff. So hopefully I will be able to move on to those and uh, do so fairly soon. I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, please give me a comment, like, you know, thumbs up, all that stuff. Subscribe if you haven't, and uh, I'll see you later.